Speaking to NJIT head men's soccer coach Didier Oriana following tonight's 1-0 victory over Sacred Heart here on uh, NJIT campus. Uh, do you want to tell us what your overall impressions of the game was? Uh, seventh game in a row, uh, unbeaten. So tell us a little bit about how you felt about how the game went. I thought it was uh, a good game. You know, the Sacred Heart is a, is a good team. And I don't think that their record reflects how they are as a team, how they play. They're they're good. They're good and very dangerous up top and uh, and in the midfield. I mean, all over. They're, they're a good team. So uh, we knew that we had to come in and, and just do well over uh, on the field, you know, and be good defensively uh, because of they have some good guys up top. So uh, I thought we did that. And uh, I, one of the things that I told the guys we to do more was shoot. And uh, obviously that's how the goal came, came about. So uh, just glad that we were able to, to finish uh, the game with a, with a win. Christian Morris Cassell scored the only goal tonight. Um, he also had a free kick that was just missed a few minutes before that. He's now got three goals on the year, which ties him for the team lead. Uh, Talk a little bit about the uh, impact that he's made here playing his senior year. He continues to do well, and uh, sometimes uh, I think throughout the season, uh, how he started was excellent, and now he's been okay, and man, when he turns it on, he's, he's unbelievable. So we want him to continue these performances because he helps us out a lot. And uh, so, He's so talented, so talented. And uh, he definitely brings the leadership on the field, off the field, and uh, you know, we just expect a lot from him. I expect a lot from him. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the defense? Uh, there was the 3-3 game against Ryder, but with the other, out of the last four games, there's been three shutouts. Um, you know, no, get, no goals allowed tonight, 0-0 at St. Joe's, and then the one nothing win over Navy prior to the Ryder game. Talk a little bit about how the defense has come together as the team's record has, has improved. Yeah, I, I think that uh, we stressed that a lot in, in practice, you know, and uh, the guys at the back and have done a really good job uh, throughout. And I feel like now we're starting to gel and uh, just really get to know each other on the field. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't have Jonathan today, but I thought Eugene did a really good job. Uh, in addition to, to you know, Philip and Brett, who's a freshman, uh, Philip Embed, our freshman, and uh, Jimmy, who's a junior. So, uh, really, really good job today for, for, for the backs. Just uh, touch on one last thing. Uh, you mentioned the fact that a couple of guys have been out, uh, a couple of guys have injuries, and, and it seems like uh, down a few starters, but the, the team still manages to find a way and, and get good results. Uh, Talk about that in terms of what that means as far as the overall program and, and, the, and the, the depth of the roster. Very proud of how the guys are, are handling the situation. You know, like every team, I think is going through this. We're not the only ones uh, who are battling injuries. I mean, we're looking to. We didn't have three starters, uh, one point four starters, uh, and yet we got the result. And I think that says a lot about us and uh, the guys' mindset. So uh, we're just taking it one game at a time. But I'm, again, very proud of the way we're handling this. You know, injuries, the yellow, yellow cards. So uh, just very proud of it.